Hello and welcome. Welcome to Oracularium and today we are looking into the void. So Andrea, what does the void mean? Oh yes, we are looking here at the cosmos, the moment before the Big Bang. So everything is secluded inside like a gigantic bubble, a soft bubble with everything inside, all the potential that will be are secluded inside it. And we see the eye, like the eye of God or the eye of the cosmos, the eye of creation, and is inward because nothing is, exists outside the bubble. So it's looking inside like thinking what I have to do or what I can do. It's so very reflective. It's very reflective, yes. And this is even a quote from, I mean, the Buddha Buddhist culture is the inner void. So the moment before a decision. And so being very relaxed, being very empty. Empty, because this is the void. Void is emptiness and is the emptiness of the consciousness, is the emptiness of the cosmos, is everything could be, but it's not yet. So it's kind of because it's empty, it's infinite potential. Absolutely, yes. Everything can come, but we don't yet know what will be. Amazing. And hidden in this card, as well as the eye blinking open for the first time, because this is the very, very early phases of anything existing, there's also some objects. So up here we have the star. Yes, we see different kind of object inside because we, is, everything is contained in this cosmic bubble. Is like a blank canvas ready to be painted. Mm. So we have different kind of planets and stars, and we have just one star, the brightest star. So the star is like it can be like a sun, the giving of life. And so this is the reason why I draw here a fish that can be Pisces, the constellation, and life began in water. So this is the reason why I wanted to draw a fish. And then we have a very strange object, if mm. you want, a music note. Why the note? I was thinking about the original myth of creation of, I mean, the, the sound of the cosmos, the music of creation, and so I wanted to put a note, because note is, music is like another dimension that is impalpable, untouchable, but it's there, it's powerful, it's suggestive, so everything began with music. It's very connected to the senses as well, because it's noises, this is about looking, this yeah. is about listening. Yeah, absolutely. Right. But we have other objects. Yeah, that's true. Do you think well, about the others? For me, because this is about potential, and it's about infinite potential, and it's kind of the card of potential, um, critical in this card, we have the home planet, but many other planets. So it's a card where we could be looking at the fact that we can be based in one place, or that we have opportunities to orbit around to other homes, to create homes in other places. So it's a card about the potential of travel. Um, there's also two other little friends that we have here on this. We may be stood on an asteroid or a moon, but there's um, a spider, and the spider hasn't yet created its web. It's looking, and it's thinking, and it's planning, and it's wondering. So it hasn't yet created its web to catch its prey. It hasn't yet started its day. And so this is a card that's maybe suggesting that to whoever's using it that you haven't yet begun the process, or it's important to reflect before you begin the process. And finally, the flower. I think it's really interesting that you've got a flower at this stage, because this, in a way, it's the existence just before life begins. So for me, this kind of becomes a reminder that before you can have a flower, there must already be a flower. Yes, it's this is like a flower to be. Yeah. The potential of a flower, the idea of a flower. If you want to think in a philosophical way, the void can be the hyperuranium, the place that create, uh, created by Plato, taught about Plato, is the place where all the ideas belong and live. So this is like the imaginary world. It's just like the blueprint of the cosmos with everything inside. But we have two things, and I would like to ask you something. Mm. The, the card have a specific number and not letter. Yeah. Why? Well, in the deck we have all of the numbers, and the void for me represents zero. It's about nothingness, it's about the circle of life, it's about continuity, but it's at that emptiest phase. So zero for me represents that, and it also mirrors, um, for anyone who's familiar with tarot, it, from, it kind of mirrors the fool. The Absolutely, journey yes. that's about to be begun. Yes. Um, so all of those concepts seem to connect in there for me. And the fact that we have no letter for this, for the other cards there are letters and meaning, and that suggests at words and hints at people. 
But here we just have silence. And for me, that's all about not speaking. It's about listening and about not saying things, but actually being receptive. And so connecting back to that Buddhist idea as well. So, Andrea, if you drew this card, what do you think this card would be telling you to do? Oh, this card is telling you to look inside the inner world you are, inside yourself, or you are, and just to look at it and not take any action. Just look at yourself, look at your thoughts, your fears, your dreams, your ideas, your emotions, and just observe them. They're like they are developing, moving, evolving, and something will come. That's so, really exciting. Yes, it giving is. Giving yourself permission to Absolutely. be quiet. And you quiet. have to. That's great. Wonderful, what an exciting card. So that's the void. Thank you very much. I've Thank been you. Neil Kelso. Andrea, stay. See you soon for another card. Thanks, bye. bye.